Droner. What's up, Droners, and welcome to another Mavic tutorial video. If you didn't know already, we're doing these videos because cameraman Tony doesn't think that Mavic is worth the money. I love the Mavic. I think it's worth the money, so I made us come out here to do videos about how great the Mavic is. Right, cameraman Tony? Aren't you happy to be here for this beautiful drone? It's a beautiful bird that flies and takes beautiful images. Oh, for real? Wow. Okay, either way, um, what we're going to talk about right now is a mode that I actually use often. And I actually first started using this mode when I was flying my Inspire. Um, it's called tap fly. And what tap fly basically is, is that when you're up in the air, when you're looking at the image on your screen, all you do is tap where the direction you want to go, it starts going, you can adjust the speed of how you want it to go, how fast you want to go there, and the main reason you're doing that is as a single flying op, or a single person flying, instead of having two people flying, you can simulate that two people are flying by pretty much having full gimbal control, as well as being able to turn the drone, and the drone will continuously still move in the same direction. All right, so what what I love about TapFly when I use it is that it's pretty much like the poor man's secondary controller. What I mean by that is when you, the big huge advantage when the Inspire one came out for the first time is that it had a secondary controller. One person flies the drone, the other person flies the gimbal, which makes it so that it's a lot safer flying, but it, the big reason that you like it is because you can do some camera moves that you can't do with a single flyer drone. For example, being able to turn the drone and turn the camera and follow stuff and doing a lot of really complex camera moves. The big advantage for TapFly is that it's, it maintains the drone's speed and the direction that it's going um, exactly as you're still turning the, uh, moving the gimbal and possibly turning the drone. I haven't done it with the Mavic. I know with the Inspire that it actually you can do it with like the GPS and it can actually make it so that you can act, you can make the two points ahead of time. So it will do whatever whatever direction you have the drone facing with the Inspire. It'll still keep going in that direction regardless of whatever the camera's direction or whatever the drone's facing. But with the Mavic, I believe it's going to be a tap fly situation where the camera the drone has to stay forward. The reason why I use tap fly so much is because it maintains the speed of the drone while you still have gimbal control separate. So the drone's going to keep flying the way that it wants to and you're going to be able to turn the, the gimbal down and do other shots where you're not having to worry about actually fly the drone because it maintains the speed for you which you can set at a standardized pace which is kind of hard to do when you're flying anyways to keep an exact same speed which means you have to keep your thumb in a rigid spot. Could be difficult. So very useful. This one's very useful tra uh, mode. Right cameraman Tony? Because we're talking about how awesome the Mavic is. It's amazing. It can do that because it's great. I've used this a lot on the Inspire as well as the, the Phantom drone, the Phantom 4. Um, just because it's so useful. I have not used it yet on the Mavic because normally I'm just playing with the Mavic a lot when I'm using it. Um, that doesn't mean it's not just a toy, Tony, um, but it's still a great drone. Um, yeah, I get distracted by how angry I get at cameraman Tony sometimes. But either way, let's go ahead and take off and let's have some fun. On the tap fly and go there. Okay, so you tap it twice. I'm going to make it go slow, 10 miles an hour. And as it's going towards that location, it's descending to get there, while it's also using its uh, front forward-facing cameras to get to where I told it to go so that it does not crash into anything. And look at that. Like, like I do a slow little, oh, look at that camera tilt. It still maintains what it's doing. Can I do a pan? I don't know. The pan looks like it changes the spot of where it's flying to. It does. The pan changes where it's going. But the drone is still descending and going where it's supposed to go. I'm going to slow it down even more because I want to get a little, just do a little, look at this rock as it's coming over there. And we're going to speed it up a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty. Kind of. All right, so Tony, cameraman Tony wants me to explain this a little bit differently. What this tap fly does is that I touch something on the screen, this screen, and the drone will start to fly towards that at whatever designated speed that I want it to. What's useful about this is that I can still control the gimbal while it's flying so I can do tilt shots. But the limitation of that is, is that whatever I'm shooting has to stay within the frame. So if I'm shooting this rock that I'm about to do, then I have to keep the rock within the frame of the camera because the camera is what's guiding the drone. So I'm going to go ahead and fly at it. But what it can do, like I said, is it can do, I can do a tilt up shot maintaining my speed um, and just keeps the, the drone flying straight. As long as I keep the, the, whatever I keep is the subject in frame and the drone will continue to fly towards it. Watch. I'm going to do it. So, big rock. Fly at the rock. Slowly. Do some tilts while I was doing that. Stop flying at the rock. And it stopped flying at the rock. 
So, I mean, pretty much what you can really do, it's really good for maintaining, like, following people or something like that. Like, when you're like, oh, let me follow this person or follow this thing. Honestly, it's follow this, go to this point. What I, what I use it for normally is, like, a descending or an ascending shot that's a long way off. So it's like, oh, there's a lighthouse in the distance. Oh, there's a lighthouse in the distance, and I want to be able to get to that lighthouse, but I don't want to be at the same height I am. I want to end up at the same height as the lighthouse. You tap the lighthouse, and then you tilt the camera wherever you want it to go, as long as you keep it in frame, and the drone will go whatever speed that it, you give it directly at the lighthouse at the same speed, and you can play, control the gimbal, play with the gimbal, do whatever you want to do. Maintains the speed, and lets you play with the gimbal while it's flying itself. Bam. That makes sense, cameraman Tony? So like I said, I've actually never used it on the Mavic before, and what I realized is the difference between what I was using here and what I use on the Inspire is that I was using waypoints on the Inspire. And on the Inspire, you literally do a GPS location waypoint that allows you to be able to just let it go from one point to another. Tapfly is different where you're actually using a visual cue, so you have to keep that in frame. So that's very different, but at the same time, it does something similar where it will fly towards that visual cue. Waypoints will not ascend or descend, but, a, but a, uh, one of these, Tapfly, will ascend or descend to whatever you tap. So you're like, I want it to go all the way down this hill over there. I want it to go up into the sky over there. It's going to do whatever you want it to do as long as it can recognize what it is that you're tapping on. So that's a huge difference, but at the same time, useful in a different way. Droners, thank you for checking out this other awesome Mavic video. We have more of them, so you should check them out. Or you should see our opening video, which is dope. As always, make sure you go ahead and support us. There's three ways to do that. One of them, you can get a shirt so you can be fly like me. Or you can hit up our Patreon, which is the best. Or the middle best, but still very happily that makes me, yeah, that sounded weird, but you can do that. Subscribe. And as always, make sure you stay fly.